Hey guys, welcome back. This is nine holes with a nine handicapper. I have a really rough start to the round, which meant I was chasing my tail for the rest of the front nine. As you'll see in the video, my confidence dipped early on. This meant I had to really battle to save my score. The first hole is a par four, it's 440 yards off the yellows. I've pulled the tee shot and I will be in trouble on the left. I've had to lay up, which meant that I've got about 170 yards left, so I've got a 5 iron, try and get it up there, but I've chunked it and it's gone about 100 yards. 80 yards left, I've got a 52 degree, and it's just going to land short, which means I have to get up and down for a double bogey. Pretty solid chip, it's got plenty of check on it and it should be a tap in for a double. Okay, second hole's a 503 yard par 5. The wind's in behind so it's a great chance for a birdie. I've got about 250 left so a good hybrid should leave me with 50 yards in. But it's high and it's fading. It's going to be in the rough. Now I spent a couple of minutes looking for my ball but I couldn't find it so I've had to drop and I'm playing four from here. I have to get up and down for a par. So par 3 next is 141 yards, playing about 10-15 into the wind, so I'm going to hit a 7 iron. And I should have hit a 6 because that is in the bunker. Bunker shots are one of my weaknesses, so here I'm feeling pretty nervous. feel pretty gutted I didn't get closer to the hole, but I'm leasing out of the bunker. Okay, par 4 into the wind, it's 370 yards, so a little fade off these trees on the left should be fine. I've hit it too high, it's fading a little bit, but it might be tricky behind the trees. Okay, the tracer didn't like this shot because of the clouds, but I'm looking back now, my feet are facing that way, so that's the reason the ball's gone right. It's not ended up too bad, I'm in the rough, I need to float it in and try and get it to land soft. Took a bit of a kick and it's rolling away from the flag, it's going to be tough to get in for a par. So confidence is pretty low, I've got a 200 yard par 3 now, it's about 10-15 yards up the hill so I'm hitting a 4 hybrid there. It's lovely contact and it's heading right towards the flag. It's a huge sigh of relief, best swing of the day so far. Okay, so finally a par on the board. I've now got a par four, it's 378 yards. I'm just gonna hit a little five iron down the hill and lay up so I've got about 150 yards into the flag. Oh. Okay, so push that one to the heavy rough. This lie is absolutely horrendous. My only thought here is try and get it out. If it goes on the green, that's great. Okay, huge putt here. Ok, 
Okay, 315 yard par 4. I could go for the green, but there's too much danger, so I'm going to lay up. But the 4 iron leaves a wedge in. Okay, 110 yards left. I'm going to hit 52 degree, let it ride the wind, hopefully nestle next to the flag. But I've thinned it. managed to find it quite a lucky break I've got a 56 degree on a downhill lie I just need to pop it up and see if I can get it on the green It's such a good feeling getting a par when you're playing so poor. Toughest hole in the course next is a 354 yard par 4. It's OB on the left and water all down the right so you pretty much have to get on the fairway. Now that slice is so bad that it's going to be safe. This is the fairway here. I'm not sure if you guys will see it but there's my ball right there. I obviously don't want to damage the green so I've dropped a little bit further back from the fringe. After that terrible tee shot, I've somehow got a birdie putt. Oh. Pretty disappointing I didn't get the birdie, but I'm pretty happy with the par as well. Okay, so par 3, 173 yards, a little bit into the wind, so I'm going to hit a 4 iron, try and keep it a little bit lower. Hey guys, thanks for watching. It was a really poor start. I actually felt like walking off the course, but I had a pretty strong finish, three pars in a row. So in the end, six over isn't actually that bad. I'm a nine handicapper. I shoot that again, I'm only three over my handicap. So it's not too bad, but yeah, super inconsistent at the moment. My ball striking's really poor. My putting's actually saving me, which is really weird. But yeah, thanks for watching. Make sure you stay tuned for the next one.